What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. But uh, I'll tell you another trade story. My trade story. Crazy. To Houston? Yeah. So it's like, you know, uh, shit, you know, shit come out, do stuff. So I did this shit in New York. So this is like when I'm in my darkest place, right? Mm -hmm. Where you like, my mom passed, tore my Achilles, all this. So you just looking for love, you looking for space, you look just fun, excitement. Yeah. So um, my video come out for my birthday doing game size and shit in New York. Cool, I'm in my room with my friends. I'm thinking nobody recording shit. It's a random person that somebody knew mm -hmm. posted. So the Wizards is mad. I'm like, okay, cool. I call everybody from the front office, apologize. I'm like, yo, shit happens, I can't control. Like, I ain't kill nobody. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so I guess the owner wasn't happy with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's fine. Like, I ain't the perfect person. I say, ain't nobody perfect. I said, you ain't perfect. You right. fucked up too. Like, but I can accept my apologies and move forward with that. Right. Mm -hmm. Go by. So woo -woo, they talking about, um, Russ called me out of nowhere, uh, DMs me out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like, I know Russ, me and Russ cool, say what up to each other if I see you, but a lot of people, you just don't have their number. Like, right. like, I got respect for you, but I just don't have that relationship to yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So he DM me like, yo, what's your number? I'm like, fuck me, what's my number? Text me like, yo, I'm, uh, I'm tr DC, DC trying to get me, but they saying you don't want to leave. Like, fuck no, nigga, this has been for 10 years. This is my franchise. Like, <laughs> right. why would I want to leave? I'm like, what you mean they want you? He's like, yeah, they want to trade you. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I ain't believing it. So I asked my agent. Mm -hmm. Then I start hearing about it. Like, you know, but shit be rumors. Mm -hmm. But like certain shit ain't rumors when you're hearing it from the main source. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's a business. I ain't tripping. Right. Y'all come out here, work out for a month. Brad all mad about the shit. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm like, bro, you can, I get it. I mean, but he like, we had a real conversation. Like, man, the man talked about it and shit. My brother, nothing, nothing against him. Right. Still love him to death. You know what I mean? Was there for me when my mom passed when a lot of motherfuckers won't. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? So I'm like, we talking and shit. And I'm like, well, what are we, what are we gonna do? Like, we're gonna run it back one more year, you don't know. Once he said, I gotta think about it, I knew I was traded. Mm. You know I mean, you gotta think about it, yeah. then oh, some yeah, shit going yeah, different, yeah. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, go back, I'm in DC and shit. I'm, in, I'm back in Miami working out and shit for the summer. So, you know, training camp about to come up. So, I go, I always go back two weeks before training camp, start mm -hmm. working out at a facility, doing shit. Russ put me on the phone call. And I hear the conversation, like, yeah, we trying to do this, but he don't wanna leave. So, I'm like, oh, I get it now. It's basically done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all I asked him was, I was like, yo, don't let me put this wizard jersey on for the last time, because it's for media day. You know, you gotta take the picture before media day, you take all your little pictures before yeah, media day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if this is the last time I put the jersey on, I ain't put it on. They're like, nah, you good, whatever. You know, just be professional, do what I gotta do. Go back home. They go tell my agent, oh, he came in day, he ain't speak to nobody. Lying like a motherfucker. Like, I'm gonna give a if I'm in a bad mood or not. If you ain't, if you ain't the reason why I got a bad attitude, I'm, a, I'm bad, mad about nothing, I'm gonna speak to you. Right. You yeah. ain't the reason why I'm mad. Mm -hmm. Woo woo, that go by. So I got workouts one day, and I'm not ready for sit. I'm going to another place now because all this shit going on. I don't want to be around it. Right. The GM come watch me work out. I'm like, nigga, you ain't watching me work out the last two weeks. What you come today for? He came because he had an interview 30 minutes after my workout. Mm -hmm. So he's like, yeah, me, John, and Brad, a conversation. We all good. That's lies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So no lie, sitting in my living room like this. My assistant in the back packing and shit. Me and my four of my homeboys right here. 7:30 hit. Got to say it on my phone. Watch ESPN. Please call capital letters. This is a day before training camp. Please call capital letters. I'm like, I'm traded. I ain't even had the call. I called him though, but I'm like, I'm traded. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, John, we just traded you to the Houston Rockets. All you see is a ticket. John Walter, Houston Rockets, for Russell Westbrook, which I already knew was about to happen. I've been right. there yeah. for a month. Yeah. But I'm just like, damn, this shit really happened. Like, I'm really leaving a place where it's home. Like, I've right. been for 10 years. City mad as shit. Mm -hmm. I'm bet. talking about they still mad as hell. I bet. Hot. Cause you got basically you got Russ for one year and left. Yeah, yeah. What you do that for? You know what I mean? At that point. And it's funny because I had a turkey get a turkey job uh, three days before that. You know, media asking me all questions and mm -hmm. shit. I'm just playing the politic game. Mm -hmm. All the fans like coming out. I had, gave out like two thousand turkeys. Yeah. And all the fans like, man, don't leave us, don't leave us. I'm like, it's out of my hands. I yeah. can't control it. Like you know what I mean? At some point, you just can't control certain shit. Yeah. You can own up for your mistakes, but shit happens. And we always say fans don't really understand. Like, it's a business. Yeah. It's out, a lot of stuff is out of But place, I think, like, man. this the problem is not too many people touch the community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when you touch the community and touch the people, like, that really ain't got shit in the, in the city. Nah, like, it's really real. from the city, not moved there. I'm talking about really from Ward 8 and Section 8 and all mm -hmm. that. And ain't got shit and you helped them out. Like, when I did my 202 rent relief thing, mm -hmm. I paid families rent for eight months. 
That's amazing. This is when COVID, yeah. and they ain't have like they couldn't afford food. So I'm like, let me take one burden off their back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, they ain't got to worry about rent, which is probably the hardest shit to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you can afford to put food in your kids' place. Facts. That's right. the people I was touching. Facts. And those are the motherfuckers that was mad about it. Nah, facts. You know what I mean? So when I went back, bro, I then they won the crown in the court, bro. When I had my when I played there December 10th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the craziest Jeez. shit ever, bro. I had chills through my body. Like, that might have been the most, outside of my mom passing, might have been the most chills I ever had in my life. That's crazy. Because, like, I felt like I, when I scored and I said, this my city still, that motherfucker stood up like I had a Wizards jersey on. I forgot I was on the Clippers. I was about yeah. to run over there to this way. <laughs> but it was just crazy, though, like, the love throughout the whole shit, bro. Like, everybody, like, please come back, please come back. But people don't understand, back. 10 years is a long time, That's a long bro. time. They really watched you. That's bro. a long time. Yeah, from a kid, kid, bro. It's like you watching your son go from 9 to 19. He yes. go from elementary to in college. That's yeah. tough, bro. So that was just amazing to me. Like, but I feel like I got I feel like I got the flowers I deserve. Like, you for know sure. what I mean? Nah, for sure. But you know, for a sure, lot of sure. people go back and don't get that type of love. No, like I like sure. Donovan Mitchell last night. They showed him love in Utah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They didn't have to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you know you, you you know you deserve it, but they don't really have to give you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, that's facts. No. Let me tell you, when Chris has when they played in New Orleans, yeah, they, they were they, booing they the shit booing out of like, They forgot. They, they forgot. They forgot. They don't care though. That's the problem. They don't. But like those people might not even be the fans that was really there when he was there. Yeah, they don't even understand. So they might have been little kids or younger. They're like, man, fuck him. He left us. Like, why Chris leave us? You know what I mean? Exactly. So I'd be looking at it like you look at LeBron when he left Cleveland. Left the wrong way. I see. Shouldn't did it like that. But the motherfucker that burnt the jersey got that same jersey when he came back and won the ring. You know what I mean? So exactly. You got to be careful. Like how you. My mom always say, watch what you say to people. How you control certain situations because you might need that person and want that person back in your life later down the road. Exactly. Nah, for sure.